Hi, welcome to another episode of Ask Your Pediatrician. I'm Dr. Paul. The topic for today is my infant has a cough. What should I do? I'm going to say we're talking about a child, infant means under one, but let's expand this up to about age three. So you have a zero to three year old child who has a bad cough and they're acting sick. What should I do? I'd like to share with you a key point. If they have high, high fever, we're talking 103, 104 Fahrenheit, that would be 39 or 40 centigrade, or they're extremely lethargic, they're just out of it, or they're struggling to breathe. Now when an infant's struggling to breathe, they're breathing fast. He, 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 he. It's one breath, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, one, 1,000, two. They're just huffing and puffing. Sometimes you'll see the nose flaring. That's a sign they're really in trouble. If you look right here at the sternal notch, it might be caving in. As they take a breath, they're generating a lot of force. And if you look at their ribs, they're just sucking in with each breath. That's a baby that needs to be seen right away. Breathing over 60 breaths per minute or any of those signs of distress if they're combined with very rapid breathing. You've just got to get to your doctor's office immediately or if they're not available to the nearest urgent care or emergency room. Now that's sort of end stage. Your child didn't get there like that, right? They were sick, they probably had a little cold and then they started coughing a little bit and now they're coughing more and more. So it's a matter of how sick they are, right? How much they're struggling to breathe. When do you take that child to the doctor? And it depends on a few factors. Obviously in that extreme case that I outlined, you're going. If your child is really tiny, you know, six to 12 months or less, and they're nursing, let's say for example, and they just can't stay on the breast, they're pushing off for air, they need to be seen. Another example, if they're bottle fed and you're trying to give them a bottle and they'll suck, suck, gasp for air and push you away. Either their nose is completely plugged with, you know, mucus and you need to put some saline in there and suck it out, or they're just struggling too hard to breathe, they need to be seen. Now for most of you, your child isn't struggling that hard, they're feeding fine, they don't have a high fever, they actually look okay, they're coughing a little bit. That's not an emergency, folks. Just feed your child, watch them closely, and you can take care of them at home. This is almost always viral and it's going to pass in a week or two, typically sometimes less. The leading cause of bad cough and congestion in an infant is respiratory syncytial virus, RSV, and it's called bronchiolitis. For older kids, school age kids, adults, this is just a bad cold. But for little infants, particularly premature infants, RSV is something to avoid. So this is why I will tell, now there's a seasonal variation to RSV. I'm coming to you right now, it's February 1st, 2014, and we are just starting to have the peak of RSV happening here in Portland, Oregon. It just started two, three weeks ago. I hadn't seen a case uh, in December, and then all of a sudden we're seeing it every day in the office. So it will peak probably in February, March. It'll be gone, typically almost gone, by April, May. And this is fairly typical each year. We have this winter peak in the uh, northern hemisphere of respiratory syncytial virus disease. If you have a baby that's born right before RSV disease season, you want to stay away from indoor crowds. This is spread through respiratory droplets, right? If you're in an indoor place where people are sneezing and coughing, that's not good for your newborn, especially if they're preemie. So avoidance is the key. Stay away from indoor crowds where people might be sick. Have people wash their hands because they can rub their nose and then touch your baby and bam, you've got RSV. So hand washing, avoiding indoor crowds, this is the key for prevention. And unfortunately, there's no other way except that simple maneuver to avoid the infection. Once you have it, most babies do okay. I gave you the signs earlier that rapid breathing, can't nurse or take a bottle, and signs of distress, time to have your baby seen. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul.